Living in a small town determines an inevitable ignorance. When I turned six, my mother gifted me a recorder for my birthday. Any parent right now is thinking that's an awful idea to give a six-year-old a recorder. But my mother knew what she was doing. Come on, Rory, you're gonna be late for your first class. Coming, Mum. Years later, I was playing the clarinet and I adored it. So much so that all I wanted to do was play. I became good, insanely good. By age 13, I was already playing at Vivaccio Tempo and perfecting G6 while the rest of my classmates were still fucking around with Danny Boy. Right there and then, I decided I was going to make something of myself. Become one of the greats like Artie Shaw and Sharon Cam. Perform in the London Symphony Orchestra. All I had to do was be accepted into NIMPA. And why wouldn't I be? When I perform, I'm perfect. One breath can make all the difference when playing a note. Too much breath can make your instrument sharp and cry out in pain, whereas too little makes it shallow and weak. You need control. A perfect breath for a perfect note. I will now call out the people who have been successful. If you do not hear your name, unfortunately your application has been denied. So when you sit in a room full of people at the end of an audition for a school you've been told by everyone in your life, you're definitely going to get into. You don't realise that everyone else in that room is just like you. Alex. That they've been playing since they were six. Oscar. That they've practiced every day of their life since. Lillian. That they've won every competition. Kara. That they've been told the very same thing you've been hearing your entire life. Because living in a small town determines an inevitable ignorance. So that one day, when you finally step out of it. And that's everyone. You realise you're no better than anyone else. Well, the main thing is that I'm very proud of you for trying your best. And there's always next year. I'm getting chicken next time. Hey, you okay? Look, this is bullshit. Those judges are morons. They made a mistake. I'm gonna go down there and- And what? They don't want me, Frank. That doesn't make any sense. You're the best. Apparently not. Good afternoon, class. How are we all? Good. Lovely. Now, before we get into it, I believe a congratulations is in order. Over the weekend, we had some students audition for NIMPA and Lillian, congratulations, has been shortlisted. Everyone give her a hand. <laughs> Seriously? Could you be any more obnoxious? Huh? Not you, her. Oh, right. Jealousy is not a good look on you. I'm not jealous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Rory, I've been looking for you. Oh, hi, Mr. Carter. Notice you want your music class today. Oh, about that, I was not just going to- Not to worry, we can't attend them all. Now, I've got something for you. This? The National Institute of Music and Drama is holding a competition. Judged by Professor Julia Dixon and com critically acclaimed composer and conductor Stephen Sabatini, the winner of this competition will be rewarded with a full four-year scholarship to the Institute. Holy shit, Roy, this is a second chance. Mr. Carter, I really... Now's not the time to start doubting yourself. 
Come on, Rory. It's not like you've forgotten how to play. gonna miss. <laughs> hey, you're in a better mood today. Did you fill out the application form? I sure did. The competition is this Saturday though, so I don't know if I'll have enough time to practice. I'm sure you will. You're gonna ace this. Have you picked which song you're gonna perform? Are hey, you okay? Uh, yeah. What was that? I think I'm just a little lightheaded. Is someone playing music? No, I don't think so. I swear I heard someone playing the clarinet. Okay, so continuing on with question seven. Full sentences, please. You're including information on how many died. 64 million, including the 6 million Jewish people. Who else was involved with the Killings, you need to include these groups of people. Yes, Rory. May I please be excused? Yes. Just finish a song. The same song you've been doing all night? It'll only just take a minute. 